Namaste. Welcome again to Namaste Live. My name is Alba and I'm so happy that finally I am back and I am very blessed. I'm very blessed. I'm very happy really that God gave me once again this opportunity to share with you his love, his peace, his serenity. The only way that we can survive in this hard and uncertain times is when you are connected with the divine, connected with God, connected with yourself, connected with everything surround you, but no getting that that things or nothing affect you. All the opposite. You have to be light in the middle of the darkness. Today I have 10 powerful affirmation for people, for spiritual people, for a spiritual women, for a spiritual men. These affirmations, you have to believe that affirmations with all your heart. Every time that you repeat something, you are allowing that every word comes inside your mind and your mind affects your heart, your soul, your emotions. That's why the importance that everything that we say has to be positive, has to be full of faith. Everything that comes through our mouth has to be full of purpose and full of good energy. Okay, so we have to be very careful. This is my advice in the today, that we have to be careful of everything that we speak, everything that we hear, everything that we see everything that comes inside our body and everything that goes outside our body are very important okay so we're gonna start this this beautiful video with the first affirmation remember we have 10 affirmation for spiritual people affirmations that you should repeat every morning when you wake up first thing of the morning thank you thank you and ask god god give me the strength to accomplish my purpose and my mission today and then select any affirmation these are only few ideas but you with your own knowledge and your own wisdom because we cannot forget that every of us we are our own masters our own teachers that's why we have to be very attentive and aware of our surroundings what god wants to tell us what the universe wants to teach us we have to be very aware of that so for for that affirmations are great affirmations are a great tool first affirmation that you have to repeat to yourself it's you become a better version of yourself every day so every day that you wake up, you repeat to yourself, I am becoming a better version of myself. Every day you're better. I am becoming a better version of myself. Affirmation number one. Affirmation number two. Love who you are right now because right now you are exactly who God created you to be. I love exactly who I am because I am exactly what God want me to be. God don't, doesn't want you to be anybody else. You are exactly, perfectly the way that God want you to be. So love that version of you and repeat to yourself, I love myself. I love who I am right now. No, who I went or who I was. I love who I am right now because God created me exactly the way he wants. Affirmation number three, be patient, but don't stop working hard. His promises are real and they will come in his time. Repeat to yourself, I am patient. The promises of God are coming in the perfect time. 
I am patient. I wait for the perfect time of God in my life. He's never late. He's never late. He always comes on time. We just need to believe and have patience. Affirmation number four. Hold your head high because you're everything God say you are. You have to be proud of yourself. So because of that, repeat every day. I am proud of myself. I am who God said I am. Not who my neighbor said I am. Not who the media say I am. Not who the TV said I am. I am who God said I am. And I'm proud of myself. I am proud of myself. The fifth affirmation, do everything with an attitude of excellence. Do everything with excellence. Do everything as for God. Like God is telling you to do something, do it for him. Every single thing, even your house chores, even taking care of your family or doing your job, do it with excellence. So repeat to yourself, I would do everything with good attitude and excellence. I will do everything with good attitude and excellence. Next affirmation number seven, although you may fail, you are not a failure. Yet, we are not perfect, we fail, we commit the same mistakes, sometimes every day same mistake, but that doesn't mean that we are a failure or that doesn't define who we really are. We are not our acts, we are our souls. And we are getting in that perfection path. And one day we're going to be as we supposed to be. Actually, we are perfect the way we are. We are in a school. We are learning every day. So don't worry. Our fails, our flaws, our mistakes doesn't define us. So repeat to yourself. I am not a failure. Everything is part of the process. I am not a failure. Everything is part of the perfect divine process. Next affirmation, you do not have to do it at all. You don't have to do nothing. Everything God did already. Everything God take care of, everything of, every single thing God take care of. So repeat to yourself, God take care of everything. I don't need to do nothing. God is taking care of everything. I don't need to do nothing. The last affirmation that I want to share with you in this beautiful morning is to not hold on to what God himself is trying to rip apart. Sometimes God wants to remove from you or take out of you some kind of habit or some kind of uh, circumstance or situation or practices that you are doing they're not aligned with the God's purpose uh, relationships or you can tell anything and you see that there this this situation is going out of your hands and God is trying to remove it and change your scenario but sometimes our head are so like stubborn that we don't allow God to remove all the necessary things to our life but for now and on the good news is that you're going to repeat to yourself and you're going to repeat to God and remind him and remind you that he has all the permission because he's your Lord he's your God to remove everything that doesn't serve you anymore so repeat to yourself I allow to God to remove from my life anything that doesn't serve me anymore that I don't need anymore and this is going to become or is becoming an obstacle to fulfill my mission in this life I believe God I trust him I believe my Lord 
So those are the 10 affirmations that I wanted to share with you. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon, a beautiful life. And don't forget that God is with you and he has control of everything. Even in the hardest and uncertain times, just take a little bit, few minutes of your day, of your busy day. I know some of us work and our house, housewives or um, workers or have so many commitments, but never allow that to allow that you always be or remain connected with your God. Thank you so much. And don't forget that we are a family. And when you are helping me, I'm helping you. Uh, please share and subscribe to this channel and let's continue connected. Sat now.